Hey now, hey now. I'm back again with another video. And this video is for Nika and 10 beautiful children. Nika, I am coming today to encourage you because I have been seeing what all you have been going through and how people have been coming for you instead of uplifting you. I have been following you and I know that you love your children and that everyone is not always in the best situations and we are trying to do the best we can with what we got. I know that at this present time, your children are no longer with you. People are out here saying, um, DSS has taken your children, but you say that you have placed them with someone like your mother that is in a better situation for them while you figure things out and find better housing, which is a great idea because your housing situation wasn't the best for you and all your children. Um, I don't want you to be beating yourself up because you were doing the best that you could. I was there watching when your daughter graduated and how proud you were. I was there when you just had your last daughter. Um, I just hope that you take this time to figure things out, to use all the resources that are available for you in your town to get better housing. Um, like you said, you need help with your utilities um, to get those paid up or whatever it is that you need. Take advantage of what's available and don't give a damn about what nobody thinks because you have to do what's best for you and your children and to bring your children home. I know people were saying that it was cocaine in one of your children's system, but that came out to be a lie. Um, you stated about the semen in the child's mouth. Um, don't beat yourself up about that. I know that's killing you. But these kids these days, they are something else. And if you don't keep a close eye on them every second, ain't no telling what they getting into. And you have 10 of them to watch. It's like you can't take a nap. But I want you to stay prayed up. Put your trust in God. Ask him to guide your footsteps to where you need to be. Put you in front of the people that you need favor from. Bless you with open doors and opportunities. And stop putting all of your business on social media because I was watching you on two platforms 
and everything ain't for everybody to see. There's not too much congratulations going on these days. We live in a world of pure evil and hate. It's more hate than there is love. People watch you just to watch your every move so they can find a reason to call those folks on you, to try to get your children taken away from you. You know, not to try to find a way to help you better your situation and not saying that everybody's like that because we do have some good people in the world like myself. I watched how you loved your children and you cooked for them every day and you guys laughed and there was love in that home. No matter if it was falling to the floor, there was love in that home. And some of these people can live in big giant mansions and walk past each other and don't even speak and ready to kill each other. So money ain't always the answer. But I just wanted to encourage you today to just let you know you're not alone. There are people that do care and want to see nothing but the best for you and your children and can't wait for the day that you guys are reunited and put into a better situation because God can do it. You just have to trust and believe. Put forth your best effort since you have this free time now, you put forth your best effort to better your situation. And when you get back together with your children, don't put them out for the world to see because these folks could care less. All they want to do is sit back and talk about you and dog y'all out. Because they don't want to see the good. All they look for is the bad. When there's plenty of good to see, you know? And everybody's not fortunate to live in big houses drive fancy cars and have the best of the best. But believe me, you keep working hard and you keep putting your best foot forward and you will be blessed. And God does everything for a reason. So maybe this is your time to get out here and shine and bring everything that's needed for you and your children. Usher it on in so you guys can come back together as a family and not want for nothing. I know it's hard to smile right now, but conjure up a smile. And when you need to cry, cry. Because God is bottling up all those tears. Lay those worries at his feet. Lay them at the throne. Because he's going to bless you. Believe that. Have no fears and have no worries. He has all things under control. You just have to believe and keep your faith. 
and you and your children are in my prayers. And I hate to see all these naysayers around here coming to all their conclusions and their opinions. But one thing for sure and two things for certain. It ain't over until God says it's over. You be blessed. Stay encouraged. And do what you got to do. To bring your kids back home. To a better environment. I love you. And you take care. God bless.